Hey guys, this is Tamala. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Designing with Tamala Bowie Interiors. And I have a great show lined up for you guys today. I have three segments filled with great tips on interior decorating that you'll be able to use in your home. Now, in my first segment, I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can live beautifully in your home. And in my second segment, I'm going to share with you my five decorating pet peeves. And in the last segment, I'm going to share with you or give you some tips on why it's important to have proper lighting in your space. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, so now in this first segment, I'm going to share with you five ways in which you can live beautifully in your home. And what I mean by living beautifully in your home, that is creating an atmosphere or an ambiance in the space that makes you feel special or make you feel welcomed. Or when your friends, family, and guests stop by, it makes them feel special as well. So now the first tip on how you can live beautifully in your home, and that is to add some sparkle and shine. And there are several ways that you can do this. You can do this with reflective mirrored furniture, or you can incorporate mirrors. I'm always talking about placing mirrors in a space because mirrors are reflective. It helps to bounce the light around the space, and they can also be chic and glamorous. So if you want to live beautifully in your home, then incorporate some reflective mirror surfaces or incorporate mirrors into the space. Now the second way to live beautifully in your home, and that is to make your guest bedroom feel like a five-star hotel. Incorporate some luxurious linens and towels and bathrobes and slippers, and also make some beautiful guest baskets or guest boxes for your guests to be able to use. Now, in my description box below, I'm going to list the link to a video I did on how to make your guest bedroom feel like a five-star hotel, and that video was packed with some great information on how you can transform one of your bedrooms into a five-star hotel bedroom space for your guests. Now, the third way that you can live beautifully in your home, and that is to make your home unique. And that is to make your home unique by monogramming. That's the best way to personalize your space and to make you feel special when you have something that has your initials on it. You can monogram your towels, you can monogram pillows, you can monogram linens, you can monogram your table napkins. You can also um, basically monogram anything in your home, but it gives that home that special, unique feel and touch to it. So if you want to live beautifully in your home, then get to monogramming some items in your space. Now the fourth thing you want to do to be able to live in your house beautifully, and that is to add a piece of the past. It can be an antique cloth, it can be an antique piece of furniture, it can be a beautiful um, type of lamp or anything. It can be a family heirloom that's been passed down to you. That just adds that special old time feeling to the space. It also brings in that character. It also brings in some charm. It makes the space feel special because you have something that pays homage to the past. So whatever you have, if it's an antique piece or if it's an antique piece of art or anything that's been passed down to throughout your generation or something you found at an antique mall, then incorporate it into the space. Make your space feel unique. And the fifth and last thing I want to talk about on ways you can live beautifully in your space, and that is to add in fresh flowers. Now, if you look at these pictures right here, this is my son and his girlfriend. And they found this place in Pilot Point, Texas, where they have all in-season flowers that are blooming and that the... Um, public or the community can come out and pick these. So they pick these beautiful tulips and you don't necessarily have to use tulips. You can use any type of fresh flower of your choosing and place it into a gorgeous vase and place those throughout your home. Fresh flowers always make a space feel vibrant and it always make you as the receiver of the flowers feel very special. So hopefully you guys like these five ways in which you can live beautifully in your home. Now comment below which one of these things that you would use in your space or share with each other the things that you do in your home to allow you to live beautifully in your space. Okay guys, so now in my second segment, I'm going to share with you my five top decorating pet peeves. And I must admit, I've been guilty of some of these pet peeves, but these are pet peeves that I've seen in some potential clients' homes, as well as decorating mistakes I've seen throughout the internet. So now, my first decorating pet peeve, and that is purchasing those bed in a bag. 
you should make your bedding unique to your space. And you can create your own bedding just by simply investing in some quality linens, some pillowcases, pillow shams, and also investing in a beautiful white down comforter. You'll be able to create your own bedding look in a space that's going to be unique to that space and it's also going to be able to showcase your style and personality in that space. Now, my decorating pet peeve number two, and that is using only two colors in a space. Now, you can get away with using two colors in a space if you're using a black and white color uh, scheme, but the majority of the time you still have to add a punch of color to liven up that particular color scheme. Now, I know color may be difficult for some people, but I'm gonna share with you a quick tip. It's called the 60-30-10, and what that means is that 60% of your dominant color you can use in the space, the 30% will be a moderate color, and then the 10% will be your accent color. So now you've had the opportunity to use or incorporate three colors into the space, which will give it more depth, it will make it feel more energetic and lively. Now my third decorating pet peeve, and that is over styling the space. And I know a lot of us are guilty of that because we feel the more we put in, the more designer it will look when it's actually the opposite. You don't want to overstyle your coffee table. You don't want to have 25 pillows on the sofa. You don't want to have a throw on the sofa, the ottoman, and your accent chairs. The best way to avoid overstyling a space, and that is to incorporate in large decorative accessories and also being very cautious or being very skillful at styling. Now, if you want some tips on how to effectively style the space, then my team and I will be more than happy to assist you with that. Now, my fourth decorating pet peeve, and that is following the trends. And I'm okay if people want to follow the trends, but following the trends, in my opinion, is following with your decorative accessories. You can follow the trends with decorative art, with decorative accessories, also with um, decorative pillows. I would not suggest following the trends with your furniture because as soon as that trend is over, you're stuck with furniture that majority of the time is very costly to replace and you're having to go and purchase new things in order to not have that particular outdated um, furniture in the space. So if you want to follow trends, which I have no issue with, then follow the trends only in your decorative accessories because it's easier and it's more budget friendly to change those out when the trend changes versus having to go out and purchase new furniture. And my fifth and last decorating pet peeve, and that is placing furniture against the wall. Pull the furniture off the wall because when you place all your furniture against the wall, it creates this large gap in the space and that is not conducive for any type of entertaining or intimate conversations. Now if you take a look at my family room space, I have my sofa placed on an angle and then I have my two accents chairs facing each other and then I have the ottoman adjacent or in front of the sofa. This is more conducive for entertaining friends and family and also it's more conducive for having those intimate conversations. So now, hopefully my five decorating pet peeves are no longer pet peeves for you guys if you are guilty of committing any of those or having any of those. And also comment below which one of those pet peeves do you find yourself falling to or also share with me what are some of your decorating pet peeves that you have in your home. I would love to hear your feedback. Okay guys, so now we're to my third and last segment. And in this segment, I wanna briefly talk about the importance of proper lighting in a space. And I'm sure a lot of people probably think that as long as you have a ceiling fan with a light kit in a space or some sort of above or overhead lighting, that that is adequate lighting and that is not the case. There are three types of lighting that every space should have. That's ambient, task, and accent lighting. And so I want to share with you a picture of a kitchen and it sort of kind of provides better insight on proper lighting in the space. Now, it's from one of my um, magazines I receive. It's the Lighting Planning Guide. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put this picture up so you guys can follow along as I talk about the three different types of lighting that you need to have in your space. Now, if you look for number one, it's ambient lighting, and your ambient lighting consists of pendants, recessed lighting, or other sources in a space. 
And this type of lighting can eliminate dark spots in a room and it can also serve as a decorative design element. So that is the first type of lighting in your space and that is your ambient lighting. Now let's look at the picture again and let's look at um, the task lighting which is number two. Now typically your task lighting is going to be found underneath your cabinets in a kitchen area and that type of lighting is going to fill the shadows and it's also going to provide additional lighting down on the countertops if you are doing a recipe and you need to um, read the recipe book or if you are chopping any types of food or vegetables or anything like that it provides additional lighting down onto the countertop now in the family room or in the bedroom your task lighting will be your lamps it'll be your lamps on your side tables and it will also be lamps on your nightstands so those are ways that you can incorporate task lighting in other areas beside the kitchen now the third type of lighting that's needed is the accent lighting and the accent lighting on this picture would be number three and accent lighting in a kitchen you'll normally find in glass front cabinets or it'll be inside of the cabinets but the majority of the time it's going to highlight something and if you're using accent lighting in other areas of the home beside the kitchen, for instance, in the family room, the accent lighting would be a lighting that's over a piece of art. And accent lighting will be a recessed lighting that shines down onto something onto the fireplace, or it will be an up light to highlight a pedestal with a beautiful vase on top, or to up light some foliage in a corner. So now, those are, the, those are the three type of lighting that you need in a space. You need your ambient task and your accent lighting. So, hopefully I've given you some great tips on why it's important to have proper lighting in a space. And also comment below if you do not have the proper lighting in this space or if you need to add the proper lighting in this space. I would love to help you with your um, lighting design dilemma. So guys, hopefully you really enjoyed this episode of Designing with Tamala Bowie Interiors. I hope I provided enough information for you guys to go out and make your space or spaces in your home beautiful. So now if you found this video to be useful, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you want to get more shows like this, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on your alert notification button so that way you'll be updated whenever I release a new video. So now once again, Thanks for watching Designing with Tamala Bowie Interiors, designing for how you really live in your home. Bye!